76ers anxious to get off the bus and get down to business. A look from earlier as they arrived at the arena. Thanks for joining us in honoring Martin Luther King Day. It's a very special presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Ali LaForce. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then on Thursday, they'll face off against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. And for their matchup with the Nuggets, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. And with tip-off coming right up, we've got just enough time to hear from the sideline. Allie, what do you got for us? Tobias Harris is the straw that stirs the drink in Philly, if you will. He said, quote, I see myself as the connector here, bringing guys together. I've been around the game a minute. I know how to communicate with different personalities. I'm here for one reason only, to help this team get to the championship. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. All right, Grant, I'm going to need you to tell me the truth here. How often do players check in on their own stats during the season? B.A., you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. <laughs> the truth of the matter is players are very much aware of their stats. A lot of these teams have the stats displayed in the arena for all to see. But I'll tell you what, during timeouts, they always hand out a stat sheet to the coaches. You always see players in huddles looking over the shoulder of the coach to see exactly where their stats are. I bet you didn't know that. Oh, I knew that. I just didn't know if you'd admit that you know what I know that you know. Did you do that, Grant? <laughs> oh, me? Never. What are you talking about? Of course I did. <laughs> so let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thybul. And it's Green in at the small forward position. And for the Wizards, Beal is the two with Brown Jr. the three. Down low, it's Achimura and Bryant. And it's Westbrook in at the Mind point the guard position. Mind the lanes. One shot. And Grant, Bryant is proof that you don't have to have the big vertical to make plays above the rim. Yeah, so true, B.A. Obviously, the 7'6 wingspan helps a little, but it's also about positioning and the timing of your jumps. And in the open floor, Bryant builds up that speed, which gives an extra flight toward the rim. Excellent D there from Bryant. Westbrook with it. An important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. Bryant in the high post. Westbrook outside, over Simmons. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Here's Philadelphia. It's a three-point game. They defeated Utah in their last game. Great communication on defense in that one. They worked really well as a unit to frustrate the offense. You knew they were on a string all night on the defensive end. And it always helps when someone got caught out of position, help was on the way. Harris, the shot is good. In so many ways, Harris can beat you. He has the size and skill to score from all three levels. Westbrook, the pass to Beal. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The 76ers have gone one of three from the floor. To the wing on the left. Here's Embiid. That one goes. Now he's one for two. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Despite the miss, those are the kind of looks coaches hope to create. About two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Bible. It's tipped. Boy, blocking shots is usually about timing. But with Thomas Bryant, it's about that tremendous length. And stolen by Simmons. Here's Thibault. And that misses. That would have put him up. 
Westbrook against Simmons. And the basket by Westbrook. And you know this, that is one of Russell Westbrook's signature areas. That mid-range is sweet in his game. Simmons, the pass to Green. Bryant against Embiid. Oh, what a finish in traffic! My goodness! I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to be the guy who has to guard and be. I mean, you can body him up, get physical with him, and he still finds a way to score. Now here's Westbrook. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Orlando. Outside Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Westbrook. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Wizards have gone three of six since the tip. Brown finds Beal. Shoots over Thibel. Beal gets the bucket. Beal's got his second basket of the night. That's just a great move by Beal. Little shake, little fake right there. And there's the lob. Indeed misses. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought, for sure, but the lob is about to be better than that. Woo! When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive, no question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim, okay. Now here's Thibault, looking for his first basket still in this one. The Sixers with another miss. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside Simmons. Pass to Harris. To the inside. From deep. The Sixers with another miss. The Wizards with a lead. Beal outside. Now here's Hachimura. Westbrook left side. Philadelphia grabs the miss. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Pass to Embiid. Harris outside. Shot clock at six. And that one's long. Washington has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Westbrook outside. And then Bryant with the dunk. Well, Thomas Bryant is the kind of length to get well above the rim. Nicely done. Great target on an alley-oop. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now a timeout call by Philadelphia. Their first look at this year's Washington squad. <laughs> no one was surprised last year when they won their season series against this team. And most people expect this to be a repeat of that, too. You take nothing for granted. These teams are very familiar with one another, and we expect a close contest. Simmons. 
Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Harris outside. And it's Wizards ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Pass to Westbrook. Three pointer. The shot that time, not on target. And Philadelphia the other way now. Left side, Simmons. Embiid passes to Simmons. Harris outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Simmons missing. Blocked. Relentless defensive energy from Brewey. Able to outwork his man and send it back. The defense getting out hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. Talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Beal. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. <laughs> you know, just determined to protect the lead with all the effort they've got. Superb anticipation on that block. Bertans checked in for Washington. The 76ers also with a sub. Curry, he's checked in for Thibel. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Harris. Now Green. It's deflected. Westbrook finds Beal. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. Well, you simply have to shake that one off, right? You can't let that kind of missed opportunity bother you. Back to Harris. Inside. Here's a beat. And there's a three-second violation. Now that we're into the new year, how about a check on the Eastern Conference standings? You take a look at the 76ers. They love where they stand right now. First place. And checking out Washington. Well, record-wise, not even in the same conversation. Well, right now for the 76ers, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Well, this is their goal. There's no doubt about that. For what many expected of them so far, they have not disappointed. Pass to Maxi. Now Howard. He's covered by Bertans. Howard's shot's good. Well, tremendous touch right there. Dwight Howard being aggressive and wanting to dominate inside. I now call the Wizards. Rim it out. 
Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Here's Milton. Oh! And he draws body contact. Looks like a blocking foul. He was in the shooting motion, so he'll head to the line. First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Outside Bertans. Over to the left wing. Here's Wagner. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Wagner doesn't lack confidence. This guy puts it on the deck and goes with authority. Nicely done. Here's Curry. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Embiid. Westbrook with the rebound. Westbrook's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, Grant Russell Westbrook, not your prototypical pure point guard by a long shot. All right, so how do you evaluate him as a floor general? B.A. is simply two words, fearless and relentless. He is a prolific playmaker. Now, throughout his career, some have questioned his decision making, but I'll take all the great things that he does on the court to help his team win over that. Here's Maxie, back to Milton, pass to Howard. Banked it in off the glass. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The Wizards with a lead. Westbrook outside. Tries to break his ice. And it's good on the lay-in. Westbrook's got his third bucket of the night. Stop it. <laughs> An incredible move to shake his man. Getting the defender on his heels, doing the rest with ease. Here's Maxi. Outside Milton. This one for three. Howard. Tip back in for two. Howard's got six. If you had a question as to how Dwight Howard is up there amongst the all-time leaders in offensive rebounds, that's an example why. Now here's Westbrook. Six points for him. Good on the bucket. Give him eight. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. To the wing, right side. Embiid passes to Howard. Over Wagner. Pulls up. It's rebounded by Wagner. Washington has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Beal outside. Over Milton. And out of bounds, the 76ers will take it. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Tobias Harris. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. The Sixers trailing. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. Rebound by the Wizards. Westbrook's got six rebounds now in the game. It's stolen by Howard. Here we go, the Sixers on the break. And he lobs it up top! alley up top, hammer it home! That's about communication between teammates. Dwight Howard, high-flying as ever. Neal goes in. Here's Wagner. And he battles for the ball, gets his second chance bucket. Wagner's got his second bucket of the game. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. Pass to Embiid. There's 38 seconds left in the first. Clock at six. Let's go with a three. And that one's good. Now four for ten. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. 
Westbrook outside. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter here. Launches a three. That one doesn't drop. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. It's the Wizards. They lead by one. Don't go away. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a moment. chatted with Bradley Beal recently who touched upon the joys of playing at home. You know, yourself, you know, being in your own comfortable setting, you know, and then arena packed full of your own fans rooting and cheering you on, that's, that's constant motivation and just energy, you know, that puts us into this mindset that we have to win at home. Yeah, protecting your turf, that's usually where it starts. Yeah, it's just a matter of pride. Making your opponent feel uncomfortable. Two advantages that erode when you lose in your own house. Man, it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. All right, let's quickly break down the game and what we've seen so far from the Wizards, guys. The aggressiveness on defense has been infectious. Everyone's come to the party. I love it. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. We've got Troy Brown, Thomas Bryant out there with Rui Achimura. Then there's Robin Lopez, and it's Westbrook in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. The Wizards are rebuilding and rebranding their organization around the term monumental basketball. Looking at best practices, they've staffed up with top talent, they're defining roles and responsibilities. Guys, the goal here is to create a patient and a collaborative approach that yields to long-term success. And Allie calls for optimism in the DMV. And that one falls for Westbrook. Grant, you played 19 years in the NBA, but you had some serious injuries in your career as well. What extent has modern medicine enabled players to extend their careers, you think? B.A., where was this modern medicine 20 years ago? <laughs> Would have made my life a whole lot easier, but you were so spot on. Today, there's such an emphasis on taking care of players, making sure they recover. Uh, there's a sophistication with the training staffs and the sports science applied to it. And so now, these players are coming into the league at a younger age and are being able to extend their careers for a lengthy time. And so, I'm all for it. I love the idea of resting guys. I think big picture, protecting players and their livelihood is in their best interest. And it's a good thing. Right side Brown. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now, here's Howard. Give him eight. Now Harris. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Westbrook against Simmons. And the shot is good by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four points this quarter. When Westbrook's game is cooking like this, the opponents, you can see it in their body language, just shaking their heads going, oh boy, we got a problem here. Now, here is Howard. Shoots over Lopez. The shot by Howard, no good. Now, here's Brown. Westbrook outside. Steps back and fires. Out to Achimura. Brown with it. In his last outing, eight points for him. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That's his first foul. Sixers on deep. 
They trail by three. Bryant, the pass to Achimura. Just five on the clock. The three, Westbrook. Drains the triple. Westbrook's got 15 points. Boy, how about the elevation on that shot? Russell Westbrook training these and making it look easy. Pass to Howard. Out to Harris. The shot, no good. Now the Wizards take it the other way. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Up top, Westbrook. Simmons defending. And finished off by Westbrook. This guy is an incredible dunker in space. The defense just says, let me step back here. And the 76ers call time here. Lots to talk about here, guys. I mean, losing momentum and looking for answers. I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. this year's three-point contest. Some of the players who have a shot to make the final cut. Hey, not a bad list of shooters at all. And really, with how many threes we see in NBA games these days, some of these games have become three-point contests. You take a look at Beal, he's gonna need to move up this list big time to be part of the three-point contest. But he's got a shot. Maybe, especially if he can get hot from beyond the arc. And he certainly has the ability to do so. And this year's contest is really shaping up to be one to remember. Plenty of dead-eye shooters on that list so far. And lots of guys have a three-point shot now. But this list is really the cream of the crop when it comes to putting up long-range bombs. And the Wizards with possession here. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Westbrook. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. Grant, you played all four years at Duke. Nowadays, it's so often one and done. And in a year or two, maybe straight out of high school. Your thoughts on that? Well, first of all, yes. If you played all four lane. years in college nowadays, lane. you're almost penalized for that, which is really weird. But I think when you look back in 2005 and they eliminated the straight out of high school and implemented the one and done rule, teams didn't really have the proper resources to handle the influx of young players. But since that time, the staffs of their development on and off the court are better suited now to help these kids adjust and transition uh, from high school or one year of college right into the NBA. So I see straight out of high school coming back, and I think the league is better prepared for that when it happens. Yeah, and the G League is a major part of that as well. on the wing. Yep, that one goes. Harris has gotten four this quarter. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Simmons against Westbrook. I love the ferocity with which Russell Westbrook plays. The defense has no choice but to put him at the line. 
Shooting two. And he makes a first. Well, showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. The Wizards making a switch here. Lynn's checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Thibel's checked in. So Westbrook nails both of them. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Simmons, the pass to Howard. Harris outside. Back to Howard. And here's Simmons. He picked up 15 in their last win against Utah. Four on the clock. Here's Harris. Excellent D there from Bryant. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Now here's Westbrook. They lead by the biggest margin of the game. Nine. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. So it'll be Russell Westbrook shooting. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. Curry, he's checked in for Simmons. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That one misses for Westbrook. Russell Westbrook wins the 2017 MVP award. Does he relax and rest on his laurels? Heck no. This guy is just striving for greatness. I love it. Now here's Harris. He has six. Shoots over Bryant. That went off the back iron and out for Washington. They've gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Hachimura outside. And he drives in. And there's the rejection. Well, Dwight Howard at his best, sending it back. Back to Curry. Pass to Harris. Curry with it. The three. And another miss by Philadelphia. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Typically, around half of Curry's shots are from three. But he's really a threat from anywhere on the floor, Greg. Yeah, great point, B.A. He has a tremendous mid-range game. And we saw that from him back in college. He's really improved his shot off the dribble, too. And what you love is the confidence. This is a guy who believes everything he puts up is going in. And you know what? If I were him, I would too. And there it is for him. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Westbrook against Curry. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Westbrook's got 26. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Outside Dival. Nice D from Brown. The Wizards have gotten six of ten shots to drop in the second. Nice work. Westbrook outside. Count it. 28 points for him. I can't imagine the energy expended by Russell Westbrook. Always a threat to score, even when he's getting knocked around. Pass to Harris. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Harris has got eight points. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ball game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question.
Hachimura finds Bertans. Three-pointer field. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Beal. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Milton. Embiid inside. He's coming off a 25-point game against Utah. Yeah, not to mention a couple of blocks, too. Making his presence felt at both ends of the floor. Here's Neto, following the score by Philadelphia. Looking to end this cold spell. Rebound by the 76ers. Harris has got four rebounds now. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harris. Now Embiid. Over Ashimura. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Harris. We're beginning to see this more and more from Harris. Just taking what the defense allows. At that time, finding the wide open man. Now here's Beal. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Orlando. And more impressive to me than his scoring was his playmaking. Really an all-around offensive clinic. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the bucket by the Wizards. Pass to Harris. And here's Embiid. Deflects the pass. Here's Neto. Averaging around five points a game. Beal, no good. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. And you can't let Harris get this close to the basket. When you do, this is what happens. Outside for Tons. Driving inside, and it's good. Walk through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Well, Grant, in 1992, you were involved in one of the greatest basketball plays in college history. Still remember it so well. What do you think about when you remember that play? Well, B.A., it really was uh, an incredible moment in an incredible game. I think the th first thing that comes to mind was how bad of a haircut I had. I mean, man, what was I thinking? <laughs> I was only 19, but it shows and it pays to not be too trendy when you're young. Uh, but all seriousness, no, it's it, it just remarkable. Um, you know, we were so in the moment. We were trying to win against a great Kentucky team. I had the easy part, making the pass. Christian had to catch, gather, and score, and he did. And 30 years later, people still talk about it. And so I'm just so grateful to have been a part of something so magical and so special. Do you guys practice that play? Never. <laughs> Hachimura. The three ball. And that's good. Bertans for three. Bertans has got six points. But like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Outside Milton. 151 left to play in the second quarter. Here's Embiid. The rebound by the Wizards. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing their last matchup with Orlando. And it's not the result they were hoping for, but every game is a chance to learn and make adjustments. Yeah, I mean, listen, it hurts a little more when you play well and fail to close out a game. That was one they should have won. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. Here's Milton. Harris outside. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid. Back to Harris. Now here's Milton. Five to shoot. Looking to win the run. And he lays it up and in. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Curry against Beal from deep three-point range. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got his fifth rebound in this one. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. Now here's Milton. Embiid misses. To the middle. Here's Wagner. And he converts the layup. He's got six. 
Well, there are times where the court vision gets questioned, but Rui Hachimura, the delivery, sets up his teammate, really well done. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Embiid. Got it. Good job in the low post. Embiid's got six in the quarter. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Now Beal. Three-pointer. And he can't get that one. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Wizards out in front. They lead by 13. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. Looks like this could be an upset in the making. I'm Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. There was no stopping Russell Westbrook in the first half. He ended up with 28 points, two assists, and seven rebounds. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. And taking a look at the wizard, Shaq, what'd you think? I think the speed of Russell Westbrook has been the story of this game. Hard to close out on him, because look, he's going to blow right by you. And in the open floor, no one can match him stride for stride. He's like a gazelle, a deer, a cheetah, mixed in one. He's like a gazelle de dealer. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Philadelphia? I look at the lack of free throw attempts as a key indicator. Because the funny thing about getting to the charity strike, you have to earn it. You have to put your body in harm's way and be physically willing to take the hit. Right now, one team's playing aggressively and the other team isn't. That's the big difference in the score. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. A fantastic game from Russell Westbrook in this one. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. It's just relentless. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Maxi, and it's Green in at the small forward position. Outside Thibel. Floats one up. Yep, that one goes. Now here's Westbrook. And he's got 28 now. Beal outside. The three is up. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. Now this is what you love about Bradley Beal. He doesn't have to dominate the basketball. Just get him a shot in the flow of the offense. Here's Maxi. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. And after having carried Washington for quite a while, last year Beal finally spoke up about the culture of his team. He said, I don't like losing. It's going to keep blowing up for me until we start winning. Well, the 76ers shooting around 41%. Pass to Embiid. Green with the ball. Averaging around five points a game. Eight's back. The rebound by the Wizards. Bryant's got eight rebounds in the game. You know, I think when Beal was asked what in the culture is missing, he said having that winning attitude and winning habits. You're so true, B.A., and this is not an attempt to get traded at all. Beal had just signed a big extension. It was the kind of statement that we've heard from a number of veterans as of late. They feel that some players, especially young players, don't have their priorities in order. Here's Embiid, following the bucket by the Wizards. Cans it from short range. Embiid's got 17. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Beal, the pass to Westbrook. Here he goes. Soft touch off the glass. Westbrook's got 30. Yeah, Westbrook just needs a sliver of space on the screen, and he is good to go. Outside, green. 
Pass to Embiid. Back to Green. Releases. Offensive rebound. And Embiid throws it down. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And we know Joel Embiid knows that he's one of the best in the game. Love it when he challenges other stars and goes right at them on the floor. Embiid is a true superstar and super personality in the league. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Beal outside. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got six rebounds here tonight. And here's Simmons. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Now to Achimura. Here's the three. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. For Philadelphia, they've got three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Outside, green. Pass to Embiid. Here's Simmons. Outside, Tyler. Shot clock at three. Rebound, Washington. Hachimura, pass to Westbrook. Deal with it. Drives to the hoop. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Wizards lead by 19. Thomas Bryant is a problem on the offensive backboards. This guy's big and skilled, and you better box him out. Let's it fly from 18, and it's good. Two points. Embiid's got six here in the quarter. Washington's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Here's Westbrook. Give him 30. Baseline jumper. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number eight now. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. Dybal on the wing. Embiid, a screen on Beal. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Bradley Beal. Shooting two. down the first one. Lopez, he's checked in for Achimura. Howard's checked in for the Sixers. And so he hits both. 
Now Beal. Ten points for him. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. What you love is Bradley Beal's development as a basketball player. Comes in as a sweet shooter. There was a point at which he said, I'm not getting to the free throw line enough. So he focuses on how to draw fouls and finish through contact. And the first one at the line is good. Bill Doris last season, Beal's efforts really paid off. He averaged close to eight free throw attempts a game. Right, and that B.A. is after averaging only five and a half the year before. That's a huge shift in approach. Very difficult to do in your eighth season. This is an example of putting in the work to continue to grow your game. And Beal drops them both. We are talking about an elite two guard. Bradley Beal can shoot it. He can guard virtually any position on the floor. And his ability to elevate his playmaking skills has changed the equation. Pass to Howard. Now here's Embiid. Defense is right there. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Embiid's got eight points here in the quarter. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Brian, this season started later out of necessity, but there's been talks of permanently pushing the schedule back. Avoiding overlap with football would be a plus, but on the other hand, guys, the players who are parents, they want summer breaks with their kids, too. Yeah, that's a lot to consider, Allie. Good stuff there. We'll see how it shakes out. Now here's Embiid. Give him 23. Outside, green. Fires from deep. Simmons up top. Howard with a screen on Westbrook. With the clock winding. Oh, oh my! Man right there. Wow! It doesn't get any higher percentage than that. Dwight Howard, no doubt, on the dome. Westbrook against Simmons. To the paint. Here's Beal. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got five assists in the game. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Embiid misses. You know, he made an easy shot so much harder, and it really cost him the bucket, guys. And it's Westbrook off the drive. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Curry, he's checked in for the Sixers. Falls for Westbrook. For Philadelphia, they've got six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. Down low. Here's Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Yeah, a real versatile big man with multiple sweet spots out on the floor. Embiid is definitely on the way. Westbrook outside. Over Curry. To the right side, Lopez passes to Beal. Parked it down low that time, got hit with the three-second call. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. It's simple. I mean, when you're behind in the game, that's what you got to do. Contest every shot. Bertans checked in for Washington. And the 76ers making a change here. The 76ers have gone 7 of 13 in the second half. Pass to Howard. Oh, swiped away! Here's Neto. 
Going inside. And here's Bertans. Beal outside. From outside the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons has got four rebounds now. Oh, there's the alley! And it's Howard finishing it off. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. And absolutely jaw-dropping. Now here's Wagner. He's got six. Sit back! Now here's Simmons. Go, 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 go. Outside Curry. Six on the shot clock. Westbrook with it. 33 points for him. Pass to Wagner. Three-pointer Beal. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Howard in the high post. Now here's Embiid. Back to Howard. And here's Curry. Averaging around six a game. Here's Embiid. They get it again. Tries again. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. One shot. And that one misses. At this point for Dwight Howard in his career, it's about being efficient. I mean, we know he can grab rebounds, play defense. He's just got to stay aggressive and efficient on the offensive end. Here's Westbrook. No good. And they can't put it into the drought. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Embiid. To the paint. And it's Howard finishing it off. This is a lethal combination of size and skill. Dwight Howard doing work. Washington has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Westbrook, the pass to Beal. Oh, and that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. Here's Simmons. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Also good, so he hits both free throws. The Wizards with a lead. Westbrook outside. Over Curry. The Wizards with another miss. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on an 18-7 run. Pass to Milton. Find Simmons. Embiid, a screen on Westbrook. Just four to shoot. And that one's good. Simmons. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back.
There's a minute 34 left in the third. Here's Beal. Ooh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Here's Maxi. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Takes it inside. It counts! And the foul! That's on Mo Wagner. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And the Wizards making a change here. Achimura's checked in. What's up? Free throw drops for Embiid. Staring at this deficit, they're trying to be more aggressive and get themselves to the line. Well, the Wizards shooting around 32% in the third quarter. A minute four left in the third. Now here's Beal. Not a lot of room. A clear look for Bertans. And it's Harris with the rebound. Harris has got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. On the wing, Milton, pounded by Beal. Here's Embiid. Hachimura with a rebound. And for the Wizards, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Here's Neto. Pass to Hachimura. Inside, six to shoot. Here's Bertans. And again, Washington, no good. Here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Out left to the wing. Embiid from outside. Oh, oh it's good! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. That's how you beat the clock. Yeah, they needed the three to tie it up, and he nails it. That sets up what could be a riveting fourth quarter. Tie game in Washington. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. To talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And the Wizards with possession here. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. They've got Rui Achimura, Robin Lopez out there with Thomas Bryant. Then there's Tony Brown, and it's Neto in at the point. That's the group for Washington right now. Boy, tremendous focus from the big man, Thomas Bryant, making the difficult finish look pretty routine. That's nice. Here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Lopez. With the dunk. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. And Washington has possession. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago, here's Neto. Counted from distance. And the Wizards lead by three. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Up top, Embiid. 14 feet away. And again, it's Philadelphia. And for a guy over 7 feet, Embiid's jump shot is ridiculously smooth. So unfair for the D. Hachimura outside. Castaneto launches it. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. It's stolen. Now 
now here's Hachimura. Shoots over Maxi. And it's Hachimura missing. Two minutes gone by here in the fourth. Pass to Harris. Now Embiid. And Embiid with the power jam. Woo, that was big time. I mean, a dunk contest finish from Embiid. This guy can fly. Here's Neto. Can't cash it in from close range. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. Embiid. Westbrook, he's checked in for Washington. The 76ers also with a sub. Simmons is checked in. Over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. For Washington, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Westbrook drawing the double. Outside, Brown. Here's Hachimura. Blocks! I'll tell you, for a two-guard, Danny Green gets a ton of blocks. Great use of his length. Outside, Simmons. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. And another miss by Philadelphia. Brown passes to Westbrook. To the middle. Here's Hachimura. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got six assists here tonight. Well, just incredible instincts from Russell Westbrook. How about that pass? On time, on target, make it easy. On the attack, Simmons. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. Boy, and not just the aggression, the ability to get to the rim, but how about the finish with intention? Oh, ooh, rejected by Harris. Defense! Defense! Right wing, here's Korkmaz. And the 76ers, another three. Their long-range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Westbrook outside. Goes up on the baseline. And that one comes up a bit short. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. Oh, it's stolen by Achimura. And he's all alone. by Embiid. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Westbrook against Simmons. Here's Hachimura. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Hachimura's got five points in the quarter. Boy, if Rui Hachimura can consistently make three-point shots, he becomes that much more dangerous. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Just five to shoot. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. Yeah, you know, nobody really considers Tobias Harris as an elite defender. But by all accounts, he's an above average one. Opposing teams know that he's one of the best oh, defenders take on their team. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Harris. And Grant a 6'11 wingspan for Tobias Harris. That's a big bonus for him on defense. It really is. I mean, and you combine that with Harris's lateral quickness, and you can see the effect he has. 
most people gloss over his defense with the eye test. But all the numbers say that he's very much a positive on that end of the floor. And Harris drops them both. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. Simmons against Westbrook. Over Simmons. Westbrook with the miss. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. Outside Simmons. Pass to Embiid. And Bryant pulls it down. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. Beal into the lane. And the shot goes. That jumper translates to every spot on the floor. Bradley Beal becomes harder and harder to guard. Outside Simmons. To the inside. Here's Embiid. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got four assists in the game. This guy has been unstoppable. It has not mattered at all what the defense throws at him. He's at an answer. Beal's shot is off. The Sixers leading. Right side Simmons. Outside Tyler. There's the triple. And out of bounds, the Wizards will take it. Boy, not sure what happened on that one. Just an unforced error. Washington has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Westbrook outside. And then Bryant with the dunk. Beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Outside Simmons. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Brown. And there's Embiid. That one's good. And the assist by Simmons. Simmons has got five assists in the game. Westbrook against Simmons. Inside. Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. Bryant has been cooking all night. And they will ride him for as long as he'll take them. Simmons, the pass to Harris. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Harris has gotten four this quarter. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. Beal attacking. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And here in the fourth, he's been zeroed in, hitting some big-time buckets. Simmons, the pass to Embiid. With the fadeaway. And Bryant pulls it down. Washington trailing. Over to the wing. Westbrook, the pass to Brown. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. You know, Grant, you watch Brown. He is such a smooth athlete. But he's willing to do the dirty work, too. He really crashes the glass. And he also will fight through screens, deny the ball, plays the passing lane so well. You just love his activity and the fact that he's always involved. No good on that one. And it's tied up with that one. Well, the missed free throw there keeping this game at even. We'll see if that comes back to haunt them. Now Simmons. Pass to Harris. Outside Tybal. Here's Embiid. The rebound by the Wizards. Hachimura's got his fifth rebound. Of Washington has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Westbrook outside. 
to take the lead, and he lays it in. Westbrook's got nine points now in the second half. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. Harris outside. Pass to Thibault. Embiid inside. Covered by Bryant. And he makes it. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. The Wizards shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. Now here's Westbrook. Westbrook drawing the double. Beal outside. Tipped away. Bible with it. Beal picks him up. On the wing, Green. He buries it from three. And now a three-point Philadelphia lead. Well, this is the go-to shot for Danny Green. So good in his pre-shot preparation and catch and shoot. Pass to Westbrook. Back to Beal. Fires for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Thibault. That three's off the mark. And you can tell right there, the defense is totally fine with him shooting that. That's not his game. And it's Westbrook off the drive. And then Westbrook slams it in. Boy, it will take more than that kind of defense to stop this guy. Russell Westbrook so fierce on the interior. And then B throws it down. And just a huge exclamation point on that finish. Embiid never turns out an opportunity to intimidate the opponent. Simmons against Westbrook. Kicks it out to Brian. Westbrook outside. Watching her with a screen on Simmons. Westbrook with the miss. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting 60% here in the fourth quarter. Terrific efficiency. Pass to Embiid. Good ball! Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Forty-four seconds left in the game. Beal outside. And the three off target. You've got to find a way to get yourself going in some other way because hoisting from three is not the answer. 34 seconds left in the game. And he commits the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that increases the lead to six. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. First clean look they have. I mean, they've got to take it. And they've got to be efficient with the clock. Quick score, quick foul. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. And an intentional foul right there. First one to drop, tough one to miss. And no good on the second free throws. 
So 0 for 2 there. Hachimura pass to Beal. Here's the screen by Bryant. Tries the 10 footer. Yeah! And he's brought them within two points now. And talk about stepping up in a big way. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. Shoot the two. Gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so he drops them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Taking care of business at the line, leaving this one out of reach. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the fourth. Bryant, the pass to Brown. No good on the three. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Shooting two. Oh, the first of two, no good. A heartbreaker. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that puts him up five. And here's Brown for three. He's off on that one. So this one belongs to the 76ers. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted, and I played into the flow of the offense, and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Thanks, Joel. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone.